What is up guys, it's The Real Deal, back with another Ray Challenge video. Today we are going to be hitting shards and we are well overdue a Void Legendary. Um, it's been 18 weeks since we pulled our last one, so if we don't pull one today we are going to be deep into Mercy. Um, but yeah, so who am I after? I don't need any more Nukas, my account is blessed with Nukas. But I do need some top tier um, support champions. Usaga would be amazing, she'll give your team great survivability. Um, Warlord, one of the OGs, still the king of arena by being able to lock everyone out um, by putting all their skills and cooldown so strong, such a strong ability and not many champions can do it. And then probably the last two would be um, Necred and Sifi. Um, Sifi, I come up against her all the time in arena, uh, live arena, and she's just an absolute beast, so difficult to deal with. Uh, and then Necred as well will basically just keep one of your champions alive. Uh, probably, usually it's just your Nuka. And yeah, it just means that your Nuka can't die. They can just get work done. And it is just really hard to deal with. Great, great champion. Just before we start pulling shards, I am going to be doing an account takeover and shout out competition. If you want to get involved, all you need to do is like, subscribe, drop a comment below, and that will enter you into the competition. What do you win? You get a shout out. So we have an overlook of your account, look at some of the best champions on your account. Uh, and then for the account takeover, any content that you're struggling with, if it's clan boss, dungeons, arena, um, then I will look at one of your teams and help you complete that difficult content that you're struggling with. And yeah, so let's uh, start pulling some shards. We've got 44 of these bad boys and I'm feeling very lucky today. So come on, let's get someone juicy. Cold Heart, one of the best champions in the game. If you pull out, amazing. Um, oh my god, we're pulling loads of great champions here. Uh, Umbral Enchantress, uh, she provokes. Great, great champion for Arena. Um, but not so. She's sort of falling off though with uh, Stone Skin being everywhere, but still very, very good for Classic Arena and 3v3. Uh, Painkeeper, another great champion. Um, use her in like loads of clan boss, uh, iron twins. So clan boss, you can use her for um, all sorts of uh, different unkillable team comps. Just such a great champion. Uh, definitely worth investing in if you do pull her. Okay, so we're almost all the way through. Um, it's feeling getting itchy feet now. Cardinal, still a solid champion for uh, classic and 3v3. But I think you could actually sneak her in to uh 3v uh, sorry for live arena as well um you know people wouldn't expect you to have her and a lot of people don't bring block revive champions so she could definitely get some use in live arena as well Fellhound as well an absolute beast for farming campaign can do it in under six seconds oh, sorry in six seconds not under six seconds in six seconds yeah but an absolute beast for campaign farming and we're out of space i'll be back in a moment and we're back, so we're down to our last 14. I'm feeling nervous, but hopefully we get that Void Legendary that we want and that we need. Um, shout out to Beloar, he's a really good champion as well. Um, can definitely help you clear a lot of content early on. Put him in a stun set and he will just keep the end. He basically stuns on every ability and he will keep the enemy team locked out for days. Okay, four shards, come on. Okay, Padme are decent champion, not amazing, but can be used for some content. Uh, Lua, I've never personally used her, but I think she hits pretty hard and could be a decent nuka. Uh, but there are definitely better options out there. Oh my god. Okay, one shard and a dream. Come on, we're down to our last one. Oh my god. Okay, so no legendary this time, um, but. That definitely means that next time we will be getting one. And this week's winner is Super. Um, so this is Supi's account. He's been playing for about a year. He is a low spender. He spends his money on the Forge Pass and on Energy Packs. So that's a really good way to get gear. And that's sort of what he needs at the moment. But as his account builds up, I would start to switch it out and start spending money more on Void Shards. Obviously, it depends on what your budget is. But Void Shards is a really good way to obviously get more Void Legendaries, which will really help boost your account. 
Um, but yeah, so let's check out who he's got on his account. So he's got Tormund, someone that I don't have, who I'd absolutely love to get. Um, he can be really annoying for Arena. Uh, Great for PvE content as well. Solid, solid champion. Got Rush card as well. And Helicaf, both unkillable, well, block damage champions. Um, can both be used for like clan boss team comps. Uh, both of them really, really good uh, champions. Ilias is some that I don't have. Great champion. Um, one of the best champions for PvE. Can just drop waves like nobody's business. Like, yeah, just melt through waves, no problems. Uh, and we've got Lady Kimmy as well, who was one of my waste uh, one in champions until I pulled her recently. Um, she basically boosts her meter, and if the enemy have buffs, she strips them and then throws up block debuffs. Very, very, very strong ability. Uh, we've also got Madame as well, one of the best um, arena champions as well. Not as strong as she used to be, but still very strong. Uh, strips all buffs, then throws out drop defense and decrease attack. And decrease attack is a really strong ability. I think people really underestimate how strong that ability is. Um, we've also got Seeker as well, who's just great for um, unkillable team comps. And then we've also got God Seeker as well, who's just great for all content. Iron Twins, Sand Devil, Clan Boss, uh, all PvE. She, um, Hydra as well, she is just great for all of it. And he's got a Shamuel as well, who you should definitely build out for Hydra. Um, but yeah, some really good champions on this account. And let's see who's in the vault. Got Miscreated Monster. Great champion. Um, great for Spider. Will carry hard in Spider. Sky Touch Shaman as well. A very, very strong champion. You stick her in an immunity set. Um, she, that means she can't be locked out. She cleanses your team. Throws out block debuffs and revive on death. Very, very strong champion. Um, so let's just see what he's doing on his account. So we are able to two key um, Ultra Nightmare, which is very good. That's what you want to be doing. And he's using an unkillable um, setup. Um, clan boss is where you get the best rewards. It's where you get all your shards from. And it's where you get all your books from. You want to be doing uh, Ultra Nightmare um, max chest as soon as possible. And he's managed to do that in a year. So that's very, very good. So this is where Supi needs help with his account. Um, he's doing Fire Knight stage 20 in eight minutes. I can easily get that down to three minutes. Um, so this is the team that we're going to be using. Uh, Scylla the Drakes. Um, we're going to try and put her in a stun set. She does need 220 speed plus um, and then 200 accuracy. But then the rest of the stats don't matter as much. But she's going to be locking the enemy out for us. She's going to be doing healing. Um, and she can revive if anything goes wrong. Then we're going to use two cold hearts. And they. it doesn't really matter what gear they're in. It's more about the substats. So they need 200 plus speed again, 70% um, crit rate, and then we need as much crit damage as possible, and we need 200 plus accuracy to land that turn meter drop. Stagnite, ideally I want to stick him in a shield set. Um, he needs as much HP as possible. Again, he needs more than 200 speed. Um, ideally he needs to go before the cold hearts but that may not be possible but that's not a huge uh, not a huge deal and again more than 200 accuracy and he also throws out decrease um defense which is going to mean that we do loads of damage to the boss and the waves and then last but not least ilthos so he is going to be clearing the waves for us and doing sick damage on the boss um, he is an absolute beast. I'd love to put him in Savage, but I don't think we've got the gear to do that. Um, so I'm probably going to have to roll with an offense set or Cruel. Um, but yeah, and he just basically needs as much attack as possible, as much um, crit damage as possible, 100% crit rate, and again, more than 200 speed, so you can get a turn in before the Fire Knight. But yeah, that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace!